Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here. Today, if you saw my video from earlier, you know that I'm kind of sick and I'm super busy with tons of stuff, which of course means that there was news released today for some sets. Anyways, thanks to Maria Labs on Instagram for helping me out with the links to these sets. His account can be found down below if you want to check him out. But anyways, on Amazon today, two out of the five official pictures for the Avengers Endgame sets have been revealed. The first set is set number 76124, War Machine, Buster. It has 362 pieces and comes with four minifigures. We get two Outriders who don't come with any new prints or anything, but there is one with a new design with, with the Wolverine Claws in gold and the neck attachment from the Lego Movie 2 Apocalypse Berg characters. The other two characters are War Machine and Ant-Man in their Quantum Realm suits. Thanks to leaks, we know that the War Machine has the same face print from the Bricktober pack. And the Ant-Man is using the new helmet piece introduced with Firefly from the latest Batman sets. He also comes with a Mutt Williams hair in dark brown, so if you want to take the helmet off, you can do that. Overall, I really like this set. I think that this is the best Hulkbuster armor that we've gotten in any set. I think that it looks really cool in War Machine's color scheme. I like how he has the same missile launchers and stud shooters on the armor, which is the same as the ones that come on the figure. I think that's a nice little touch. Anyways, overall, this is a really great set with some really good figures, and I always love getting more Outriders, and War Machine and Ant-Man look really good too, but I don't think that the Firefly helmet is really working for him here. I would have preferred a new element, a mix between this one and the one that he normally comes with, but anyways, that's a bit nitpicky. Anyways, moving on to set number 76126, Avengers Ultimate Quinjet has 838 pieces and comes with six new minifigures. The the new Chitauri Warriors here look really amazing. They don't have the front masks on them so you can see their face in more detail compared to the ones that we got back with the first Avengers movie sets. We also get Rocket Raccoon, Thor, Hawkeye, and Black Widow who all aren't using any new pieces. But they are seen here sporting their Quantum Realm suits. I'm really liking the new color scheme for this one with the dark navy and some trans orange highlights throughout it. And the set also comes with a little buggy that presumably can detach from the Quinjet. The stud shooter on the back of the Quinjet also isn't too distracting, so I like that. And all the details on the Quinjet are stickers and they're not printed. In terms of accessories, the Chitari Blasters are a major upgrade from the original ones that we got in the other Avenger sets. Thor and Black Widow have their same accessories, which is Stormbreaker and her Electro Staffs. And Hawkeye uses the classic bow piece rather than his compact bow, and Rocket has a brand new blaster build. Also, I'm glad to see that the new colored brick separator is in this set. The more the merrier. But that is all we have for the Avengers sets right now. We are still waiting on official pictures for the other three sets, which are set number 76123, Captain America Outrider Attack, and set number 76126, Iron Man's Hall of Armor, and it's probably my most anticipated set, and the Avengers Compound Battle is set number 76131, and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the D2C that is rumored or not, we'll have to wait and see. But anyways everyone, I hope that you enjoyed the video, let me know down below what you guys think of these sets, which ones will you guys be picking up in April, be sure to keep coming back to the channel for more 2019 LEGO news, hopefully we'll have the other three sets revealed very soon, I hope that you all have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.